L.R. the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country flabbergasted at the recent Supreme Court ruling that exempted religious organizations from the pandemic guidelines imposed by the governor of New York for the safety of its citizens by outlawing gatherings of more than 10 people at a time. This ruling puts thousands at risk for their lives and there's absolutely no justification for such an action. If the risk was confined solely to church members, that would be one thing. But those church members interact with the rest of society when they're not in church and that puts the whole of society at risk in the midst of the most virulent pandemic to strike the world in over a hundred years. Basically, what the court has done is to place religion above science and fantasy above fact. I'm an atheist, but I could care less if people want to believe an unseen super being controls the world. I do not think that gives them the right to impose those beliefs on everyone, especially when it puts the lives of non-believers in great danger. Failure to observe the scientific guidelines created to save as many lives as possible does exactly that. In a blistering dissent, Justice Sotomayor declared, Free religious exercise is one of our most treasured and jealously guarded constitutional rights. States may not discriminate against religious institutions, even, for, even when faced with a crisis as deadly as this one. But those restrictions are not at stake today. The court's ruling will only exacerbate the nation's suffering. The Constitution does not forbid states from responding to public health crises through regulations that treat religious institutions equally or more favorably than comparable secular institutions, particularly when those regulations save lives. This is a clear violation of the Founding Fathers' belief that there should be a definite separation between church and state. The ruling obliterates that belief and perfectly demonstrates the overwhelming need to add more justices to the court that do adhere to that belief. The majority of the country no longer supports the concept of religion in general, and their beliefs have been trampled by the current conservative majority that compromises the Supreme Court. Freedom of religion is guaranteed by the Constitution. It's time to make freedom from religion equally guaranteed. You can reach me at theliberalredneck at gmail.com and you can visit live with me and my talented colleagues every Friday at noon central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash the liberal redneck. Thanks for watching.